How we do, everybody? We are in the second part of the Great Ride, and this, I believe, is the eighth part overall on the Satilahan Conquerors expansion walkthrough. And in the last part, if you didn't remember, I ransacked some villages. Ransacking usually gets the connotation of uh, indecency, uh, selfishness, uh, not caring for your the people around you. Not not the case at all. We are just very accommodating Huns that uh, just just don't like when uh, we don't get supplied with resources and. You know, we don't have any vill many villagers working for us for right, uh, for right now, so we're going to have to do some of that our own. So right now, what you want to do is... Uh, oh my gosh. You don't want to do that. Uh, you don't want to get those spearmen uh, put a number on your uh, units. Bring out the Tarkins. Bring out the cavalry archers. Fire away at the spearmen. Goodbye, spearmen. Very weak, as you can see. Even the men-at-arms have more hit points than them, and that's pretty pathetic. And men-at-arms are probably pretty, they're pretty sick looking. I mean, how don't you love this, the classic men-at-arms look? Alright, so we're going to rush in here, and we're going to try to go for these villagers. Um, I'm not sure if taking down the town center, once again, I'm not sure uh, what that does in registering with the being defeat, defeating Diretium, the Tetons, whatever, the Tectonic units. I believe that the... Um, I'm not, I'm not entirely sure if they send any other units other than spearmen out towards you. Um, but if they do, you can just have these cavalry archers right here. Move these Tarkins out if you get any um, spearmen coming through. Just because, obviously, spearmen do a number on the horses. Horses don't respond well when they see guys charging at them with pikes, spears, halberdiers, however you pronounce those guys' names. Um, you, get the, you get the drill. Uh, Alright, we got another villager there. Um, you're going to be doing some stuff in a little bit, but not currently. Sorry about that. Uh, I'm going to leave these farms here. I made a mistake, and you don't want to uh, destroy those farms. You want to be able to use those farms for later on in a little bit. Um, you want to scout out the rest of this base. It's pretty weak, uh, but you can use the walls to your advantage later on, as obviously you can bottleneck your uh, Eastern Roman Empire enemy into coming to one area of the base. Uh, good job. Alright, um, not what I was wanting you to do, but uh, okay, if you f so feel like it. Alright, so in a second... Alright, that's unfortunate, but that's just how it's going to be right now. Actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to uh, destroy this palisade walls, this palisade wall and try to sneak some units out of this um, little en enclosed area. And in doing so, I will... Uh, you know, save a couple units for myself, hopefully, and allow them to be used somewhere else. Because that castle is obviously not going down anytime soon. Alright, so we're just going to raise this barracks to the ground. We're going to use these villagers soon here. They shouldn't get attacked, so don't worry. Don't be fretting. Um, and we're going to take down this town center. You know, something I've been considering lately, and I've just been really realizing this about my channel in general. Uh, there's been some... The information that I tell you guys, should I do this, should I do that, or I report I'm going to do this walkthrough, I end up not doing it, or there's some walkthroughs I've discontinued, or just stopped doing in general, red alert, kind of halo, and I want to just clean that stuff up, like there's some pieces of work that I'm not really satisfied with, um, totally, like uh, Pokemon Yellow, I feel like I cut short a little bit, and I was wondering if you guys, I'm obviously continuing Age of Empires 2, and that's going to be my major walkthrough, um, but I was wondering if you wouldn't mind, I want to, if I'm going to do Halo, I don't want to start off where I am right now at part 41. I made 40 parts. I'm kind of upset with that thing. It's just sitting there. No one wants to, no one's going to watch that crap. That wasn't good commentating. That was intriguing. I wasn't getting you guys involved. And I was wondering if it would be a big deal if I deleted that walkthrough. Um, and if I started it up, I'd start it up at a later date with a clean slate and I'd go all the way through. So I'm. Um, curious what you guys would say about that um, and another thing is if I Pokemon yellow I'm planning on doing a ton of Pokemon walkers in the uh, in the upcoming months and whatever um, I was wondering if you guys wouldn't mind I'm obviously gonna do Pokemon silver next most likely there's a slight chance that I would jump back to do a different generation one game as Pokemon blue was the second game I ever played in the Pokemon series and it's kind of nostalgic for me so I kind of want to do Pokemon blue just because I like that version 
Um, but it would be okay if I went ahead and did a Pokemon Blue. If I did a Pokemon Blue, I would do it um, during Age of Empires 2. Uh, also, along with CNC Renegade, to give you guys some Command and Conquer in there as well. And maybe for you guys that don't want to see Pokemon, you'd still have an option um, to see some good content that you would be interested in. It. So I'm just getting you guys' opinion, seeing if that would be okay for me. Uh, for me to do to jump back and do like Pokemon Blue or something like that, and would it be okay and would it be permissible if I just completely rid of the Halo Walker? I know old Wolfafi, one of my subscribers, has really been nagging me and been wanting me to do um, Halo, but it's just not a popular walkthrough, um, and not a lot of people like to see it. And I understand that. I like to preach to other people's wants, because um, I don't like just doing my own stuff all the time and only doing games I like. I like to play to the audience a little bit too. So we're going to take these Hussars, um, Polish winged guys or whatever, someone commented on that, uh, and we're going to try to take out this wall and I believe there's some units inside there uh, that we want to be able to deal with, including uh, these archers. And I don't really know, whoa, you got to watch out for that. Oniger firing at me. Alright, so just roam around here. Take out all these archers. I don't really know what the dealio is. If you take down these units inside here, that that um, is part of having Dirachium be defeated. I don't know if they have any more villagers out there. I think we'll discover that in a little bit. You're going down, Archer. Fall to your death with your comrades. I don't know why I'm pulling out the Soviet accent now. Alright, so we're just going to get that guy in position to be fired at. Rowing around the rosy. Pocket full of posies. Ashes, ashes. Onager falls down. So I'm going to get around here. Get around here. Oh, you're a tricky one. I see what you're doing. I see what you're doing here. Whoa! Archer actually killed the guy. I thought you were useless. All right, I need I need a, some heart Tarkins going in there. Oh, oh, now you're firing at the Tarkins. You're switching up your game on me now, pissing me off here. That's all right. Good, you're done. You're done. Sorry, sorry, Oniger. Heard that you don't fare so well against cavalry. All right, goodbye. Game is up. Alright, so I think now would be a pretty good time to move in with the villagers. Uh, build up my own base over in their walls. Obviously, we got that castle to deal with, so that's kind of the big elephant in the room chilling there still. Um, but we'll branch out here and build another base pretty soon. Um, but for now, uh, you gotta just find the rest of Dairachi. I'm not sure if they're, they jump back into this base over here, but I really, you one thing to check out if you're in this kind of situation. You can check out down here at the, with their score. If it goes up or down or whatever, you can tell if they're continuing to produce units or um, or not. So this is a good rate. It's a good way to monitor what's going on. And his owl. Let's bring this down. And I'm considering doing CNC Renegade next as a supplementary uh, walkthrough. I'm still gonna just work solely on Age of Empires for a little bit more, but. Um, and, near future I am considering um, starting up another one and I'm wondering if CNC Renegade would be a good choice so just throw your two cents in there you can be useful and help me build a wall plop this wall down and because of this uh, they will be bottleneck 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 excuse me um, to this one area uh, of the of your base because obviously the rest of these gates are their allies gates and I don't believe they open for them uh, if they do, you can just make a slight adjustment um, to that. And I'm just going to kill that, that villager that's pissing me off. I need Th Thessalonica to be defeated. Same with Dirachium. I don't, I don't really know what they're hanging on to. Probably it's the castle. Pro very, very high chance that it's the castle. Let's continue building these guys. And pretty soon, uh, I recommend also building a town center down here. Uh, you pop a town center down there, get some gold. Get yourself, kick these gray men out of there, build up a little base. I don't know if you want to throw some castles down, if you got enough stone laying around, whatever that may be. Um, but go ahead. 
Uh, next on the agenda is to crank out some villagers and eventually we get some pea turds up. And uh, we'll take down that castle because that's just nagging me. And uh, to do so, we can uh, exploit this patch of stone over there. Stone, please. Alright, apparently that objective has been completed. Now that we have a base, we must train many riders to withstand the Roman attack and then go on the Oh, really? Thanks for your intelligent talk there. It's always important to have uh, smart Huns around me. Alright, so um, bring the rest of these villagers out. Uh, you're going to use the villagers that we're going to produce here in a second for another objective, which would be to um, do some stuff in your base, resource gathering, things like that. Um, and the first priority is to get a castle up, obviously. Uh, just because that's how you get the fences going, and that's how I like to roll. You're good. So uh, what what you want might want to do is you probably want to exploit these farms first um, before building your own because obviously that's more efficient. And all you have to do to defeat the Romans is to destroy their town center, as it says in the objective. So it's not a huge conundrum. It's not a huge problem. Um, so you you'll surprisingly have a pretty easy time uh, defeating them if you can be sneaky enough and get a couple pizzas into their base. No, we won't be getting cobras or jaguars in there, or no monkey men. We'll be doing it the normal way, so they're not as quick, alright? Just live with it. Alright, so we're going to use these farms, and I don't understand why... Alright, so basically you have to target it like it's a, like an enemy as a villager. I haven't used many uh, enemies' farms in the, in the past, so... And why is that not responding? Only a couple of these farms really respond for some reason. So we're going to target them. Apparently the ones that are burning are the ones we can target. Ah, uh, that's a little strange. And continue. Food is the most important thing to get, obviously, at this point. Uh, just because you can get uh, more. Alright. That music's pissing me off again. It's going on and it's going off. Make up your mind. And you know what those farms are doing? They're eating up real estate next to my mill, so I can't use the farms, and instead I have to build farms further away from my mill. It takes longer, less efficient. Pissing me off again. Things like that. Things like that, people. Gotta do this babysitting around here. Um, and, yes, there's another farm not being farmed, and that was some weird dialect there's thrown in there. Alright, so find the remaining ones that work for you. And there's plenty over there, but I'm not going to go venture out that far quite yet. Instead, uh, there's no wood, obviously, in the vicinity other than over here. So you want to get a lumber camp up. And anytime you see western... Uh, another thing that's nice about having a secondary base over here, it kind of acts as an outpost for you. Um, and I believe that they like to take this route across the map. Follow my arrow. So uh, they'll catch them on their on your radar and be able to warn you so you can bring your villagers, which will primarily be outside your base. You'll be able to bring them back inside the base. So, uh, another, where, where's that lumber camp? There we go. Beautiful. Um, and it's also important to get some gold pretty soon because obviously we're going to be using some pea turds and uh, destroying this castle with those guys. And with, when you get that castle up, I recommend healing the rest of these units. They tend to be a little tattered and beaten, uh, beat up. So, might as well go ahead and heal them up. They've been through the, the grinder, going through Thessalonica, Adrianople, Nicias, Sophia, Dyrachium. That's a lot of places to go. I'll probably keep you away from the Scythians. Those people are crazy. They might be venom-producing, blood-sucking witches. Not a good combo, I've heard. So, got about a minute left here in Part 9. Uh, got a little bit accomplished. Not overly uh, productive, but... Everybody who can't be that way. Give you little announcements of how I'm doing, um, thinking about things, walkthroughs and whatnot. And get a little bit of strategy of what you want to do for uh, using this base. And it's nice you get a good amount of resources on this side. So another thing you can do is I'm probably going to build up a couple walls right here instead of building castle um, to over here just because that bottleneck seat even more. Uh, and allows you to re realize, oh, which route are they taking? I'll just build a castle over there. So that's what we're going to do, actually. I forgot about informing you about that. So hopefully you stayed tuned long enough to hear that. And uh, we'll be getting on with part 10 in the next video, picking it up right where we left off. Um,
right as you see right here. So thanks for watching part nine.